What's up, happy gamers? We're back in another video. We're going to continue through the Keystone Monastery. Um, we just defeated the commander, and we'll make our way towards the graveyard, picking up loot along the way. We also just upped our... Uh, what We unlocked the Quake spell and uh, leveled that up, so now we're going to see what sort of damage we can get out of it and keep pumping it up and see how awesome it gets. I'm looking for a man. Caslo. Wait. I know you. You're supposed to be in prison. Your crimes are well known. Is he going to make it? A Rogar Lord nearly ripped him in two. Caslo's injured as well. I need to find him. The Lord from the graveyard? Or... Were taken care of in the Citadel. Now he's after something called a pathway. Check the chapel by the graveyard. Now get out of my way. This man needs help. <laughs> I want to enter the citadel. citadel. Maybe Caslo was roughed up enough times to trust you. <laughs> but one look at you reminds me of what you are. He's looking for the Rogar's incursion point into the old monastery. Go to the graveyard. <laughs> you have enemies here, and they're not all Rogar. Now move, and steer well clear of me and my men. You're pretty helpful for... Someone that dislikes me so much. Alright. So that gate's closed. This sign up here is meaningless. Um, over here, we have another dimensional portal. And let's see where it takes us. Because we defeated the commander boss. All right. Open this up, and is it going to be a... Yeah, it's a light, so we need to follow the light. Get ready to wreak havoc on everyone. Oh, come on. What is that, 303 damage? Look at all these people I just took out. That was great. All that infected? Let's get this archer. Get away from me, archer. Oh, 108 damage off that new uh, mace or axe or whatever. Wow. We're doing tons of damage here. We got, what did we get? 11,000 XP from that last fight. And it's just completely changed our character. <laughs> Open this up. What did we get? We got a staff and an energy shard. All right. Let's follow the light, which eventually, I believe, just hovers over a chest. But we're going to have to use, what, a prayer? Yeah. So cast the prayer spell. Get away from this marauder. Who's getting me? There's an archer there. Come on. I do not like these archers. Did I pick up? Okay, I got the rune. And I'm just going to bail out of here. Don't need to stay in here any longer than necessary. Yeah, alright. We got everything. I don't know if you want to, if you're trying to get every achievement, to go ahead and just kill everyone that's in there. But that's not what this playthrough is about. Even though we are being pretty thorough about everything that we do here. Okay, so we can go down that way, but we're actually not, because we're going to circle around, and we'll go, yeah, we'll circle around this way first. I must reach the signal tower on the other side of this the guy's going to get so wrecked suicide, but right here. But I have no other choice. Here we go. This is our only for help. <laughs> there is <still laughs> one hit. Can come from. Ah, those shield guys are so difficult, but not with that spell. What was that sound? It was like a delayed death groan or something. Alright, let's see if I can backstab this guy. Yeah. Get that. 
sealed rune small. All right. Another backstab. No. <laughs> One hit with the club. Or the hammer. All right, now we got this guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot a ram at him. Nice. That way I'm not spending all my magic at once. Okay, so here's another save point. I'm, I wanna see how much XP do I even have? Yeah, only 680, so I'm not gonna mess up my damage multiplier. Hey, we got some weapons. The staff is a faith scale. Doesn't this give you... Wait, hover... Oh, I thought that this one... There's a... So it does fire damage. There's one where when you do a heavy attack with it, it, um... Wow, 85. It'll restore some of your health. That thing's pretty sweet, actually. Maybe I should give that a go. Look at that. Cool sequence. Okay, heading down this way is a little tough at the moment. Why don't we cruise back over here? Oh, and we got a shard. So we're gonna go down this pathway. Careful of the little ambush on the right side here. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, take out that rogue. This is locked and we'll get the key later on in the game. We can't let any more in. Once we like revisit the citadel for a second time. These guys, another way to attack him is to charge and two-handed. Uh, I didn't do too well. I'll just drop the hammer. Oh, that is so fantastic. I don't have enough juice for my ram spell. I wonder if I could get a backstab on him. Is he just gonna hang out there long enough? Yep. Excellent. <laughs> I love the attack speed of this. Oh yeah, here's an infected. Just one hit. Is he gonna he's probably gonna come back to life? Yeah. Smash. Okay. So we're going to do a little circle here. This, I don't even know if we have the key to it. I don't want to go in there and reset all the enemies, but that takes you down into... I think that also connects into the catacombs. But first we're going to go up here, and we're going to light a signal fire and get 1,000 XP and take out an archer. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't so smooth, but whatever. And when you... Oh! I forgot that there was another archer right here. Okay, so once we light this signal fire here, a rogue will pop up. Oh, you need something to light the beacon, so we need to find the flint first. Okay. That's fine, we'll find it. I'll just cruise down here and take out this marauder. Maybe it's... I wonder if how we double backed um, made us miss the flint. So I don't typically miss it, so. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty sweet. Are there any chests down here? No. Okay, later in the game we'll come back and we'll go down here. There's a chest, and it's actually a back way into the graveyard boss fight. I don't want to do that just yet. So after we kill the um, boss in the graveyard, we'll cruise back down there, and you can get an audio log. I'll just just to show you the full circle. Sweet empty bottle, and we got a buckler. If you want to do any pairing, where? Yeah, there's that archer right there. Face. Audio log. On watch. The first three has been quiet, except for the rumors that spread among us. Rumors about the road. They are nowhere to be seen. That's sweet. But there's a glow on the horizon. The villagers Where do we get our flint? And the fire may creep closer. Bloody flint. There we go. Okay. So let's go back and light the flame. 
that was the end. Uh, if, if had we kept going straight, we would be back at that dimensional portal where we last just went to. Okay, so now a rogue is going to pop up here in a second. Take him out. I think it's just one rogue. It could be two. Let's wait a second. So that's why I usually get the bloody flint first, is because I go th I go that other way, and then I get trapped behind the the door. Okay, so we circled about, sort of, and now we're gonna make our way towards the graveyard. There's a dimensional portal that after we beat the boss in the graveyard, that'll open up. Oh yeah, these guys, these guys can be super tough because they're so fast. Oh, oh, don't get me. Come on. <laughs> Take a potion. Another reason why we're going down this way instead of the back way into the graveyard is because there's a save location. <laughs> um, in case you die during the fight, it's a lot easier to start down here than all the way back at the, what, where you meet Yekka. Okay. Here's a chest. Some loot. Steel sword, steel dagger, ghost merch shard. I forget when this one opens. It's probably after you defeat bosses inside this portal where Kazlo is. Um, there's not a soldier there yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and use this. And... Yeah, we got some good XP. I'm going to go ahead and bank it. What do I need to get this up to three? Faith requirement, 21. All right, so... Huh, I guess we meet the requirement. Now we got that up to three. I'm probably not going to spend any more actual XP and spell points. Um, you'll find spell points throughout the game. And I'll just use that to put into prayer and rage. And once we top out this tree, we can open up another tree. And so the rest of everything is going to go into faith and, I don't know, I guess, carrying better armor, that sort of thing. So let's talk to Kazlo. Okay, finally you're here. Quick, we don't have time to lose. Where have you been? I reached the Citadel. I was able to speak to Antanas. He is concerned about the pathway to the Rogar realm. We must stop the Rogar lords from entering our world. You must travel through the pathway and stop them. All right. How are your injuries? One of the monks tended my wounds. I'm not fighting fit, but you don't have to worry about having to deal with my corpse just yet. The last time we saw him, he was blown out of the room with the uh, it? I must the first warden we boss fight. Stop the Rogar lords from entering our world. The Rogars are transitioning from the realm from the other side of this pathway. Once I'm there, how do I stop them? Traversing dimensions requires a vast amount of power. Look for a source or manifestation of such power. All right. Support me. I could use some help. <laughs> Refill my potions. This might be useful. All right. Enough talk. talk. Let's go. Secure this area first, Harkin. Only then we can proceed. There is a lord in the graveyard. It must be destroyed before we can move forward. All right. Well, let's go take care of that lord. Uh, make sure you get a clean save here. I'm going to try my other hammer. Or no, I was having a good time with this. Ooh, but you know what I should do is put on... What? I have an attribute point shard. Use that. And... Put the energy shard on as a favorite and spend that faith point there. All right. Or put a point into faith. Let's go get our... Where? Yeah, it's back over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go get all our XP. One, two, three, and then... <laughs> uh, 
Oh, got too close into there, didn't I? He's totally zonked me out, but he's gonna call. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go get to a safe spot. I'm gonna try this hammer. I'm sleepy. Oh, put us all to sleep. Jump. <laughs> Come on, take out your friends, but not me. Put them to sleep. Heal up, heal up again. There, you took out one. You took out both of them. Okay. Whoops. Ah, oh, it's too slow there. <laughs> Look at me get my back cut up. Come on. Give me my quake spell. Protect me, quake. Where is he? There he is. Two, three. Oh, a third one got me. Okay. Oh, that's gonna put me to sleep. So it only do one hit, huh? Is there an egg by me? Good. Just take this out. Shoot this guy. Oh shoot, he's doing... I wasn't paying attention, did I get there? Just in time. Alright, if all goes well, I should be able to take him out now. Roll back. Come in for an attack. We got one more hit on you. One more hit. There we go. I hope it's not that you have to take out all his temples or have him destroy his own temples. I forget. But it should be that you just have him take out two of his own guys. And the whole temple destruction thing is just great to stagger him and get a bunch of hits in. Let's see. Worshipper. Do I get his weapon? The unique version of his weapon? I got it. Alright, Clawfinger. Great axe. And it has a faith scale of 10%. <laughs> wow, okay. So, I think I can... Cleric still does more damage than Scream. I'm going to unfavorite Scream and Pain and stick with these three. This seems like a good mix. Clawfinger. And if I do a heavy attack, <laughs> a spike comes out of the ground. That's so cool. All right. Let's clear out the graveyard. When the judges banished the god, the Rogar disappeared together with a the whole temple. People There's a bunch of stuff around here. So we'll clear out the graveyard. And we'll finish clearing up the monastery. We'll go back up and then we'll call it for this video. But let's keep going for now. Oops, okay. Human skull. That's the entrance to the catacombs. Alright. Last item, I think. Another human skull. Oh, there's one out in the middle. Don't forget that. That's the most obvious one. And over here is a grave that later we'll bury um we'll bury a cursed sword into. 
then it'll come out as a better sword, and we'll have to fight a ghost. Alright, enough of that. Let's put on Quake again. And let's go spend our XP. Reload, spend our XP. Only 3,991. Lame. Okay. It's all going into attribute points. I don't need any more spell points. Or I don't need to apply any more spell points this playthrough, at least. For, yeah. Alright, so let's up our faith. Um, I'm just going to keep doing faith until I come across a better armor set that then I want to up my, what, endurance? Yeah, that then I'll want to up my endurance. Vi vitality, I'll just keep the same forever. So we save that. Don't talk to Kazel yet. Let's clear out everything else here. Oh, I thought I'd get, thought I'd get there before him, but no. There you go. Come on. Face. Oh, jeez, that's a slow attack. Let's get something faster against these guys, huh? There we go. Hey, over here. I tried to dodge that, and I just didn't. Gosh, they have such a reach. That whole jump attack. All right, we're going to go into a proving ground up here. This video is a little bit longer. There's oh, forgot about this rogue. Whoops. Come here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I couldn't see how much damage that was doing. Last time we were doing over 300. Okay, so we're going to enter this proving ground or the dimensional portal to take us to the proving ground. And here's a save point. I'll just go ahead and save. I'm going to hold left stick and not reset the damage multiplier or my potions because we're probably going to be pretty well set here. Let's go into the center to activate it. And there's a guy up on the left. It's a knight, isn't it? Oh, no, okay. It's these two. All right. Well, that's good. I'm just going to drop my quake. Got them both? Yep. <laughs> Wow, that spell is insane with faith. I'm ready for the next proving ground. I guess I could have waited for my magic to replenish, but who do we have here? So there's an archer in the middle. I want to get through the archer first. Oh gosh. <laughs> Maybe I should have put on some uh, potions. Here, I have a moment here. Okay, let's go take out this archer. All right, there we go. And now we got this rogue. Let's use ram on him. Slightly faster spell cast. And this guy will take out one hit. All right. Energy shard. Let's get quake back in the mix. So it's always three rounds, progressively harder, and at the end you get a big fat treasure chest full of good stuff. Okay, so there's the shield knight. Oh wait, I already had Quake on. Oh, he's gonna get me, isn't he? But I got you, 673. Ridiculous. So I just need to work on my timings, and now those shield knights are just nothing. Those guys are like the hardest people in the game. The hardest Rogar. There we go with the chest. What do we get? I can't. Come on. There there we go. That was so weird. Backbreaker, attribute point, spell shard. Alright. Let's redeem these and we'll go check out well let's check out what backbreaker is first. Was that a trinket? It was, huh? Okay, long time ago the trinket was used by traveling merchants. So increase their ability to carry more goods. Okay, so you can carry more armor. Alright. 
So let's develop our character. We got a spell point. I'll put it into rage. I never use rage. I don't know. Maybe I will at some point. Anyways, I'll put it into rage. And faith. Cool. So we'll do a quick save. I'm not resetting myself yet. And head out. And we're going to go back up. <laughs> Does everyone respawned and they're all going to attack me? Hopefully not. Okay, we're going to go back up this way. Here's an infected. Back again. Just ram this guy. Use the ram spell again. <laughs> Those shield guys are so annoying to fight, so it's so awesome just having a ram spell readily available like that. Shoot, <laughs> I was auto locked onto a wrong guy. Oh wow, I'm really low on health. Why don't we take a moment to heal? Mm, there you go. Okay, so we're heading back up. We're heading back up so we can go do this back area that's a little more difficult. And then, um, and then we'll come back. I'm gonna do a full uh, point redemption here. Big save. And then we'll go back to the graveyard through the back entrance of it and uh, meet up with Kazlo. See if I can lure this guy at me. It's there's like a this is like a total ambush area if you get in too deep. There's people all over you. Did I time it right? There we go. And I took no damage and completely destroyed him. So there's an archer and a bunch of infected here. Wonder. I can just do. What if I could do like a two for one right here? Can I get the infected and the archer? Yeah. Awesome. All right. That was sweet. This guy's always fast to attack, aren't they? That one. I'm really digging this staff. Okay, and here's a rune chest. What are these guys guarding? What's in here? The guardman, great axe, and an empty bottle? I'll take it. Oh, what? What's everyone doing? Awake. Let's get you guys with rage two for one. Oh, almost two for one one of you didn't go down is anyone gonna wake up okay i need my quake spell ready to take on the next set of guys all right here two more rogar knights oh, and there's one closer right there can you backstab i doubt it right Oh, this guy's running after me. Let him do his animation here. And then see if I can get in before he attacks me. Gotcha. Quake spell ready to ready again. That's a pretty fast cooldown. Where is this guy? There he is. Alright, I'm gonna let him do his animation. Fall back a little bit and then do my spell. 900. I wonder if I can just use RAM on those guys. I don't even need to pile up the Quake spell. All right. Oh, I'm going to need a shield because you can't shield bash with your gauntlet, right? No. I need a shield to go through this broken wall. So let's put on the buckler. Okay. And here is... 
Blind the hammer. Okay, let's check out Blind. This is the back entrance into the Citadel. It doesn't even open at this point, right? Yeah, blocked by a magic barrier. Okay. See, this game tries to make you think like you have you have choices and in, in, in overall gameplay, different paths, but ultimately you all cover essentially the same area, and they force you to do it at certain times, which is kind of obnoxious. Blind. We got this hammer just now. Poison and physical damage. No attribute scaling, so no thank you. All right, I'm going to unequip the buckler. Don't need a shield. Let's put on... Oops. All right, let's put on the gauntlet. There we go. So we cleared out this area. We'll do a quick save. And we'll head to the back entrance of the graveyard. And I'll just go down this way since we already killed everyone in this path. On this path. I'll end it before we go talk to Kazlo and into the pathway. Burned watchtower. Oh yeah, is there going to be an archer up here? Two of them. Right? Yeah. There's another one right there. Oh, that's not going to get him. <laughs> it's still not getting him. Ah, uh, come on, I rolled early enough. So I thought. Okay, let's go down this way. Is there still a baddie there? Ooh, let's just backstab the Marauder. Get some free XP out of it. Huh. I wonder what the backstab animation is with this staff. Oh, we already did that before once, huh? <laughs> I actually did it to him here as a backstab with this. Okay, so let's drop down here. Open this chest. And there's an audio note down here. An empty bottle too, okay. I love collecting empty bottles. Graves need to be tended and <laughs> never forgotten. Gladly so this is the back I way the into the graveyard. Until the day I joined them. Should I ever feel insecure, I know that I can retreat into one of the graveyard's sacred shrines. They will shield oh. me off from evil. The sake, so there's a little audio tip there too. All right. So I'm going to do a proper save, distribute my points, and then... All right. So we're going to end it here. In the next video, we'll talk to Kazlo and enter the pathway. Um, so happy gaming and thanks for watching.